Welcome back to our CISA Cybersecurity Incident Response Playbook video series where we break down the incident response playbook from CISA's write-up on incident response. This is an eight-part video series that we're going through each phase of the CISA playbook. I am Justin Tolman here at Xtero, and each week we are launching an episode that covers each phase. You can see the dates here laid out. This week is episode six, post-incident activity. If you haven't checked out the other ones, be sure to go back and find those on the channel. We have a playlist set up. You can go through them in order. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when we drop each episode. And of course, we've got a bunch of other stuff there related to forensics and FTK that you can check out. All right, let's jump into post-incident activities. So again, we have the workflow of the playbook listed here with everything shaded out except for post-incident activities. And notice we are at the end of the flow. So we've gone through the analysis, we've gone through eradicating and containing our activities and going through this loop of getting our network back online and recovering our systems. What comes next? Well, from the playbook, the goal of this phase is to document the incident, inform agency leadership, harden the environment to prevent similar incidents, of course, and apply lessons learned to improve the handling of future incidents. Again, communication plays a big role in this playbook, and this is kind of the after communication, the debrief that you wanna go through. You need to provide a post-incident update to anything required by law and policy. So if we take a look at the policy here and we're taken to the CISA website, you have the Federal Incident Notification Guidelines. I would recommend that if you are an agency that this applies to, that you become familiar with this. It goes over submitting incident notification requirement policies. Notice here, we'll talk about this in the coordination phase as well, but just know that you are required to notify CISA within one hour of an incident being detected. So you have a bunch of good information here that you can check out. The link is CISA.gov US CERT incident dash notification dash guidelines. And you can check that out. So this should be something that you are familiar with, any forms, downloads, etc. So what else are we doing in the post incident activities? Well, we're gonna test our network with the new security implementations using the TTPs that we discovered in the attack. Okay, we wanna make sure that we have actually hardened our network to those types of attacks so we're getting better each time. We also need to continue to monitor the environment to make sure that we actually did get everything out. And then we want to coordinate with the different departments, talk with the different people that had different responsibilities and identify the blind spots that were used to exploit this malicious activity. So we wanna make sure we harden those up. We have visibility in those areas going forward. And lastly, we are going to perform a hot wash. We wanna conduct a lesson learned analysis to review the effectiveness and efficiency of the incident handling, okay? We need to figure out what we did right, what we did wrong, where we could improve, because the whole idea is that we are better prepared for the next one that happens. Hopefully we can stop it sooner, prevent as much loss as possible. We wanna identify any gaps in our response. If necessary, we need to improve our tools, our training, any policies, and maybe we need to modify roles or add roles. We talked about the person that's in charge of the whole team and the roles that kind of go underneath that when we talked about the preparation phase. Are those roles satisfactory? Do we have the right communication line set up? That sort of thing. Make sure that all that worked as designed and was sufficient to react to the breach. Identify any areas that you may need to add or modify. This is a good time to make sure your tools are up to date, that you have the right type of tools that are able to respond to an incident. The post-incident activity phase is kind of the transition from the breach response back into normal operating. So one thing you wanna make sure that you are doing is updating your new normal and coordinating that new normal baseline with all the teams that need to know so that they are able to accurately detect any new breaches. 
So this is a short section. In fact, it's only about one page or even half a page within the playbook, but an important one. The importance of debriefing after this has happened is super important. Notice it feeds back into the preparation phase because you're going to apply what you learn in your post-incident activity hot wash and debriefs into your preparation for the next one. So thanks for tuning in. Our next episode will cover coordination where we break down various parts of the playbook and how we coordinate with other activities and departments. We'll see you again next time. Thanks for tuning in.